In 2016 coverage, the race of the White House is heating up on both sides. Two Works 2 anchor Stephen Rumble spent time fact-checking the contenders' latest claims. The Iowa caucuses are in their rearview mirror, and New Hampshire is just days away. So Democrats and Republicans are getting ready for round two. Starting this week, all the way up until Election Day in November, we are teaming up with PolitiFact, the nation's leading political fact-checking group, holding politicians accountable for things they say on the campaign trail and in their TV ads. Fresh off his near victory in Iowa, Democratic candidate Bernie Sanders is pushing forward with a new campaign ad. It shows the side of Sanders that is propelling his popularity with working class Americans. If you're doing everything right, but find it harder and harder to get by, you're not alone. While our people work longer hours for lower wages, almost all new income goes to the top 1%. There are three claims there. Longer hours and lower wages are the first two that PolitiFact says are hard to pinpoint without a time frame. It's one big package of Bernie Sanders, and quite frankly, he's leaving out some of the details. It's not as simple as he makes it sound. PolitiFact citing labor statistics saying Americans are working fewer hours than they did in 1980 and earning more. And how about the claim that almost all new income goes to the top 1%. That was true up until 2009, but actually again, the recession and the recovery has changed the picture a lot. Still a lot of wealth going to the very, very wealthy, but not nearly as much as it used to be. PolitiFact rating Bernie Sanders' latest ad as half true. On the Republican side, a new ad running in New Hampshire funded by a super PAC supporting Jeb Bush. It goes after John Kasich on Ohio's budget. Even had the worst rating on spending of any governor in the country, Republican or Democrat. Polit Politifact saying the ad accurately cites a report by the Cato Institute on Kasich's record. But the Kasich campaign says a complex accounting change to Ohio's budget was inaccurately reflected. That accounting trick changed the whole calculation and how this kind of report actually came together. So if you're John Kasich, you're looking and saying, well, this isn't really accurate. And we could see his point, but then Jeb Bush's super PAC also cited the report accurately. Politifact rating this ad half true. Now, if that ad is successful in New Hampshire and puts Kasich back at the bottom of the polls like he was in Iowa, some experts predict it could be the end of John Kasich's bid for the White House. Stephen Romo, two works for you.